Calvin and from some random place in this planet. Anyway, I fucking love Blackfield Brides, they're the best. Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm, and I'm from Durham and I love Blackfield Brides. Yeah. I'm Kira Wake and I'm from Pensha, who no one's ever heard of, but I'm here to see Blackfield Brides. I'm in Pensha! Hi, my name's Hannah Wood, I'm from Darlington and I love Blackfield Brides. Like, I've met them before and I just adore them. Hi, I'm Dan, I'm from Ireland, I'm here to see Blackfield Brides. Woo! Hi, I'm Gina, I'm from Ireland, I'm here to see Tonight Live Blackfield Brides. Hey, I'm Dan, and I'm here to see Blackfield Brides. That's all. My name's Erin, I'm here to see Blackfield Brides and William Control. Woo! Hi, I'm Chris from Darlington, and I love Blackfield Brides. Hi, I'm Jade, I'm from Durham, and I'm here to see Blackfield Brides. Hi, I'm Pip, I'm from Durham, and I absolutely love Blackfield Brides. Hi, I'm Becca, I'm here to see Blackfield Brides. Hi, I'm Jeff, and I'm here to see all of them. <laughs> I'm Ellie, I'm from Hartlepool and I'm here to see Blackfield Brides and Fearless Vampire Killers. Hi Rebecca, I'm from Scotland and I'm here to see Blackfield Brides. Woo! So uh, you're responsible for Wet Panda? Yes, I give uh, it to Lawrence in uh, Nottingham. Yeah? Yes. What kind of the uh, wire panda? <laughs> Pandas and everything. That's what people call Lawrence. Yes. Yeah, that's what they call them. Alright, I'm Ewan. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. Because I love to set the world on fire. Aye, right, it's a quality it's album. A album. That's all. <laughs> Smashing. What have we just witnessed in the uh, Tiora dressing room? Uh, it got pretty crazy tonight. Um, tonight Alive and the Fearless Vampire Killers and a bunch of crew. Um, we all reenacted the Harlem Shake. It was. It was about how many hours? Like seven hours of preparation or something like that. Um, we took it pretty seriously, um, and I think everybody did a pretty amazing job, um, especially considering getting all those people in one place at one time to do one thing. You know, they're band people; they don't normally do that. So uh, I just think it's awesome because everybody's actually having fun on this tour, and there's a lot of camaraderie. And I think you can see that, and you'll be able to see it in the video. Um, other than that, it's just ridiculous. It was, it was dangerous, wasn't it? It was actually dangerous. I think Drew nearly killed half of tonight. Like, I nearly, no, I nearly, I nearly crippled Whack, I think. Yep. I took, um, I fell on him <laughs> and I injured his calf and he's probably not going to let me live it down. Yeah. So yeah, Drew's so damaged half of tonight live. Um, I think he's alright though. It, it, uh, it's a very small room there's a lot of band members. Ask Chiodos um, tonight live. All in very small space and no, 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 no. mosh pit. I think Tom Tom was all right there. He was just rocking the belly dance. Tom was too right. good at belly dancing. He's so amazing. He I went to uh, there was a bar across the street from where we were at. What was it called? The Solid Rock or something? It was really cool, no, like I divey did. rock bar or whatever. It. And I went over there and he was still like showering and cleaning up. But I tried to get a message to him because I didn't have a cell phone, or whatever. And so I like used a chick cell phone from the uh, from the bar and to get a message to him. I called the hotel and like, can you ring whatever my room, whatever. To get in touch with him. How was tonight, firstly? It's pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Drew smashed his bass. I smashed my bass. Yeah. Still works. Still, still works. works. Still, still works. works. Yeah. That's a good thing. Smashing. That's a good thing. Bass yeah. smashing. Um, no, yeah, it was really I good. Ro I rocked like a badass. <laughs> it's good. You, you had it large. Like a badass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it, was, yeah cool. it, was, it was mental. Because he couldn't like transfer the phone call up to the room. So I'm like, alright, well forget this. Just write the message and deliver it to him, okay? I'm with chicks <laughs> at this bar called Solid Rock across the street um, from the hotel and tell him just where I'm at. And then he delivers this formal typed out letter on a letterhead. It says... <laughs> I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in the shower. I get out and I yeah. get this. Dear Mr. Coma, <clears throat> Mr. Purdy just rang and wanted us to give you the message that Hen 
is in the Solid Rock Pub on Hope Street if you would like to join him. Regards, reception. <laughs> Kyoto spent their daily allowance, uh, known as PDs, yes. on uh, props for the video. Yeah. Uh, what, what kind of things did you buy? Um, well, we went across um, the street to some store, went out to the second level, um, which they don't really have second levels with toys in America, so that was kind of weird. Um, and we ended up buying um, one of the horses that you ride. Of course, I got to call it a horsey, not a horse. Um, uh, swords and fake swords and shields, um, and also uh, a bunch of different hats. Pat also bought a teddy bear, ripped its head off, uh, gutted it, and then wore the head. So that was uh, pretty interesting as well. Um, <laughs> and here it is. <laughs> Children's worst nightmare right here. Bear guts. So yeah, we spent all of our PDs, um, our, our daily allowance on that. Korean tour has been great. I yeah. mean, the turnouts have been fantastic. We're all having a blast out here, you know, touring with really cool bands. Um, everyone's really nice, really cool, so it's, it's great. We're having a lot of fun. Yeah, it was, uh, after tonight, there's three dates left. There's yeah. Birmingham, Sheffield, and London. I know. We're, we're told to go to a, a Spirit Rhino in those cities. You guys have Spirit Rhinos. That's we like do. the official place that we go to in the right. States. That's like, I even thanked it in the record before, too. The night before, I ended up in a casino until 5.22. And how did you do? All right, I came out up. Right? Yeah, me and Lisa RPR went in and we had it large in this casino. It was, it was blackjack, we didn't know how to do anything else. Everyone was getting quite annoyed with me because I was kind of walking up to all the tables and going, <laughs> I was really drunk. It's like, how do, how do you do this? What was it? And they just like, <laughs> You've never been to a casino before? I was like, nope. <laughs> so we did, not. we learned. We did blackjack 21s, pretty easy. It's like, make it 21. But how much cash did you actually make? We didn't come out of loads. Dollar. We, were, we, were dollar. Did, we were playing it safe. So we were like betting like two quid at a time and <laughs> winning four. So we, we literally went in with a fiver each. Like, okay, let's do it. And came out with a load of drinks and an extra 13 quid or something. It's not bad. You know, I stayed in and watched the documentary on the doors. So that's a lot more exciting. I wish I'd done, done that. Both, <laughs> both winners in my book. <laughs> Hen! Because I said Hex! Yeah. So I guess they translated because we were in Scotland. Wow. Right. So, um, so Hen <laughs> is, is across the street. Mr. Purry is with Hen across the street, the solid rock pub. So I get out of the shower like and I just start laughing. That's hilarious. So he's going to frame this because it's, it's hilarious. I think probably what inspired it was just, just the camaraderie of it all and I, I don't think anybody really let up. I think one person, person mentioned it and there wasn't anybody that was really against it, everybody was for it, so um, I think it was as we were watching it over and over and over, I think we were going to reenact it no matter what, so the more people the better, um, especially for our own shake, you know. So you, you're happy with uh, the outcome of the video? I am. I think the video is going to turn out really well. Um, and we have our, our master, Simon, um, doing the editing for it. But I think it's going to turn out really well. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun, which is the whole point. You know, If not, then we had fun anyway. So. And uh, it's definitely a night I won't forget. I won't forget Newcastle on the current tour. With, with the Scottish yeah, people, trying to all night understand them. And I thought the drunker I got, the more I would understand them. And no, they happens. just started falling everywhere and getting worse. And just saying, oh, we're going to a gaff! And hey. all this weird shit. <laughs> Mad wit. Mad wit. Mad with yeah. it? I can't, I can't do it. Mad man. with it? Yeah. Is what they're, no. But and mad with it. Steaming drunk. Yeah, steaming, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I tweeted about it. I tweeted about what we had. Steaming. We're mad with it. And it's all steaming. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're in Newcastle today, uh, which is probably the best city in the world. Ah! <laughs> the, the best accent. Have you managed to uh, talk yet. to the we Geordies who, no. who are people from Newcastle? Not yet. No, but our bus calls 3 a.m. So that's like Geordie Shore or something. Mm -hmm. like that's here. Okay, that's exactly cool. here. All right. So I equivalent like last night the accents and what they had to say, like the whole like Matt with it, blah, 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 mm -hmm. to like our Boston, I guess. You know, like wicked cool, all that kind yeah. of stuff. You know, so they had like that sort of like I don't know, yeah. just like sayings and stuff last mm -hmm. night that we found out. So, so it's the same thing, probably. Oh, like Geordie Shore. Even bad tonight. Thing. Yeah. All right. Well, I cool. can't wait. We'll figure it Stoke. out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love Sheffield. Yeah, the last show in Sheffield was sold out there. They're fucking just. It was one of the best nations. crowd ones as well. They, were, yeah, people are always really good to us in Sheffield. So, mm. yeah, Sheffield's gonna be a really good one. Mm. Hopefully, Excellent. maybe it will be. Do you have a message for uh, Sheffield fans who are gonna get there early and see? 
oh god, bring some bring some warm clothes. Because everyone seems to be freezing, yeah, and it's, it makes me feel really, really, really bad. Really bad. Um, bring some warm clothes and get your pants ready, because we're gonna take them off musically. <laughs> Is it a case of pacing yourself towards London, or do you no. just go no, all out? No, we're still burning. We're end? burning on both ends. We, all the way to we stopped London. drinking at 8.30 this morning. We just stayed up till our tour bus picked us up. We found a pool table, and uh, that was it. <laughs> and, True uh, story. We yeah, got pictures we got like of like 19 all of these empty. Jack and Cokes, which are about like this the tall, doubles. but they were doubles. They were filled with Jack this much, but we finished probably close to 20 of those in a span of like... It's three, four hours yeah. in the hotel waiting for the bus to yeah. show up. We're like, no, we gotta stay up. Bus calls 8 a.m. Just stay up. Let's just stay up, play pool, and just drink. So, what's the hangover cure? Or do you not even. I woke up feeling like a million bucks. Oh, yeah, we were great. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I had some demons to get out, I guess, because I, I woke up feeling great today. I thought I was just gonna be on my deathbed, but I woke up bouncing off the walls. So, I mean, we're professionals, you know. So, yeah. that's right. <laughs> there you go. And uh, William Controls just uh, joined us today. And he swore at us. He liked oh. to uh, step into the shot. Hey.